East Bank is a whole new powerhouse of culture and education. It's part of a real long-term legacy for local people here in the Olympic Park. East Bank is a fantastically exciting new project for London. It's a brand new cultural and education district. It will comprise world-class institutions, Sadler's Wells, BBC Music, UCL, the London College of Fashion, the V&A. The opportunity that the Olympic Park presented to the London College of Fashion and to the University of the Arts London is really quite extraordinary. It means that we're able to connect to a whole range of industries within East London in particular. v East is an extraordinary opportunity for v &A to revolutionise access to its collection. It's got an extraordinary array of cultural academic institutions. With the wonderful organisations that are coming to be our neighbours, we hope to provide opportunities for shared learning, opportunities to co-create together. We also see it as an opportunity to make East London really a cultural centre for London. The possibility is there for the BBC to draw in that creative past, building on that great legacy in Stratford, making all this great music and broadcasting it to the world and really putting Stratford on the map. So UCL East is a new campus in Stratford. We are the UK's first university to launch a campus in Olympic site. The vision really is to break down the barriers between research, education, innovation, public engagement, and to create something very special. So we're very interested in Silas Wells of uh, taking dance to Stratford next. We're going to build a 500-seater theatre there. So we're going to start a choreographic school to prepare the makers of the future. This is a great thing, not just for Silas Wells, but for the art form to have this new space for London. We're getting an introduction to Silas Wells and how they function, what are the best internships available, opportunities. The people that make up East London are quite a global bunch. There are like a lot of different stories here and it will be really good to represent people better in East London and like to tell their stories in big institutions. It's going to be extraordinary for giving opportunity for scholars and for the public to explore and engage with them. We're going to draw out stories about East London's own creative manufacturing heritage. Foundation for Future London is working with other funders to bring in money and to invest in the local market and for us and the partners, a key part of our success is actually how we create more jobs for local people. East London has this great history of producing fashion in the East End. We know that the way that industries are developing now is very different. The sort of opportunities that are coming from the co-location of different subjects and different disciplines together. And that's really what the Olympic Park is presenting. So in a way, we all be able to create and develop jobs that nobody's even thought about now. Collectively, there'll be 10,000 students moving into the park from both UCL and London College of Fashion. So it really changed the energy, I think, of the park in a positive way. So it'll be a fantastic new destination, a cluster of education and cultural institutions that will generate masses of employment, public participation. They're growing the next generation of talented, creative leaders that we need in our city. It's not just going to be about education and culture and art, but what can be the value add between the organisations all working together? Together we create a much more exciting picture, a much more exciting offer and a better local economy. It's been fantastic to have so many young people from East London, for them to get an understanding of the jobs and the organisations in the area. And I feel like, you know, we've really got there. The big thing that BBC does, it supports talent. Going to a place which is one of the youngest and most diverse populations in the country and taking music with us. We're going to be running education programmes with local schools and getting young people involved. One of the great things that this project can do is really bottle that creative spirit that has existed in Stratford for so long. That's going to be life-changing for some people. We're about innovation and creating the future of East Bank as well as looking to the past. We can't do that without young people. It's going to be an opportunity for us to be able to present many companies that we can't present at the moment. We're going to have six studios and we're going to have a hip-hop academy and it shows how strong dance is now in this city. We cannot wait to bring this type of arts engagement here to the park with so many fantastic partners. We are in one of the most diverse parts of the country, if not the world, 
and we have the whole world here in East London. So it's a real opportunity for us to show the world how we can work together for the benefit of local people and communities.